What's up guys, my name is Top Secret R35 and welcome back to another home improvement project. Today we're going to be building some shelves. So first things first, I had some sort of plan. I drew up a, I drew up a sketch on AutoCAD and with a pen and paper, you know. And uh, essentially, three foot square with polycarbon and sheeting in between. I think that was gonna look good. So lucky for me, Home Depot was selling eight inch wide by six foot pine wood. And uh, all I had to do, get six of them. Nope. Yeah, six of them, I believe. Yep, and cut them in half. And they gave me all the wood that I need. Now, the only problem is I wanted it to be like dark. So I did have to stain it. And it came out pretty nice but this is the most time consuming thing the stain is not easy but once the stain is on and it dries i can actually start with the hardware so let's get to it So on to the next step, arguably the most important step, the holes for the shelf pins need to obviously be in the exact same line across the two uprights where the shelves will go so nothing is wonky or whatever. So my method of doing that is I've drawn two parallel lines across here at a chosen distance. And then from the bottom up, obviously there's going to be a piece of wood here. And then I've, my CAD drawing showed me this equal spacing with the shelves, with the thickness of the shelves. So in actual fact, I should have made a jig to do this, but I tried that and my jig was worse than doing it by hand. So you just got to be really careful, take your time. And as I measure one, I make sure that it lines up with the other one and just go across it. So let's get to this. And then next thing, take a light, send a punch, make sure you're exactly on the mark that you made. And it's not even a bad idea to double check that your mark is right. It's not something you want to do twice. So the next party trick, got myself a freestanding drill press from Amazon allows any drill to become a well a drill press I also got five millimeter wooden bits to match the uh, five millimeter shelf pins can you believe they don't sell metric drill bits at Home Depot it's a bit of play in there it's not as tight as I would want it at one to one but I think it'll be fine so I have all my marks lined up all my pilot holes I just got to drill it in this piece of wood in the other one and we can put the frame together. Uh. All right, guys, so time to assemble the actual shelf now. So I've got a little special weapon here, or special tool I'd say, to keep the corners at 90 degrees. Clamp these down, it keeps everything nice and straight. Obviously, use your square to actually see that it is straight. And boy, yep, we're gonna do some adjusting over here, that's not good. And then quite the process, drill bit, make your pilot hole. 
chamfer tool to give yourself some space and then actually put the screws in and I've got three do the middle one first make sure it's in the right place and then one two three So take a look at that, boys and girls, I've actually got a fully functioning shelf now. Well, one out of three, but good enough so far. So we're making good progress here, ladies and gents. One is almost complete and it's almost time to go up. So my biggest fear about this whole project is that obviously I install this thing and it just falls off the wall because it's going to be free hanging per se. So what I've done, or what I think I've done that's going to work to support this is obviously I've got three bases, the two main ones and then one auxiliary one over there and all of those are going to be anchored into the wall and then I also have two small ones on the top that I actually plan to put into the wall first so the shelf is going to be kind of hanging and then I'm going to install it in the bottom so all the force should be, should be anchored into the wall. And then on top of that, as the shelves go across here, there are going to be also brackets in the middle to support every shelf. Because even, even at 0.236 thick polycarb, it starts to sag straight away. So if the weight of the cars, or when the weight of the cars starts to put force into the sides, it will first go into that bracket. So pretty much everything else is just holding up this wood. So there's going to be a lot of brackets onto the wall, but with everything color coded and looking good, and with the lights on and the cars in, I think we're going to be successful here. guys so completely installed all the difficult parts but the fun isn't quite there yet now it's time to install my polycarbonate shelving i put these lights in off camera check this out voila <laughs> actually installed the lights so i could see better battery operated leds oh it's gonna look good but yeah still got quite a bit of work to do before number one is done let's get going All right, guys, thank you for being so patient with me. Time for the big reveal. Boom. Boy. I have never almost in my life been so proud of such simple work. But damn, it looks good. Dad, if you're watching this, I hope you're happy. There's all your cars that made it in transit. One of them lost the wheel, but <laughs> that's okay. So yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed this, I hope you can see that you can build some nice display cabinets for not that expensive. I've already made one over there, and then I've actually decided to put another one in the office upstairs, not here in the basement. So the next one is going to go there. So I've still got a lot of work to do, I hope you guys learned something. If not, I hope you enjoyed the sound of my voice, apparently some people enjoy that too. I'll leave you guys with some pictures of the finished like everything tidied up, finished product. Peace out. Take care.
I feel good. You look good. You guys are amazing. Let's go.